Here's what's happening on Juno's Connect. Who says good things don't come in threes? Today we've got routing, security, and switching. We'll tell you about integrated network monitoring on routers, Juniper's Security Intelligence Center, and storage convergence with the QFX 3500 and EX 4500 switches. Hi, I'm Kara Suboy. Welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. Tired of managing numerous appliances to monitor your network data, voice, and video? We have Guy Maron to tell us about the integrated monitoring technologies available today. Thank you so much for joining us, Guy. Thank you for having me. Why don't you start by telling us why monitoring is so important to network operators? I think monitor is really a key for most operators. It's really their way of knowing what's happening on the network. It's, it's figuring out what the infrastructure is doing. It's troubleshooting problems when they happen, assuring that SLA is there, as well as finding the new revenue revenues of streams, how they can actually make more money out of the existing infrastructure. So how is all this monitoring done? So today the industry is extremely fragmented. The way that operator really works today is they basically deployed multiple probes, break apart the network, redesign it in such a way that they can get the information from multiple layers within the network. Mm -hmm. Then they have the issue of aggregating all the information and making kind of some, some sort of a sense from it. But the information is really fragmented and the deployment is extremely difficult. Yeah, it sounds incredibly complicated. What is Juniper's solution for all this? So we're using the service delivery gateway, which is basically a product that is based on the Juniper MX and deploying multiple services within the MX system. By using a product which we OEM or application which we OEM, as well as some of them are actually home developed by Juniper, we have the ability of deploying the same capability but now hosted within a single chassis. What you gain is you get the simple simplicity of the network while still having the same capability but now hosted in a single device in a single network area. Much easier from operation, much easier for deployment. The network is much simpler but you can get a lot more traffic and a lot more information this way visible in a single device. What would you say sets Juniper's solution apart from any competition? The fact that we can integrate everything in a single device, not lose the capability, have the ability of linearly scale this application and capability without needing to redeploy the network or re-complex it, the fact that the management is all the same, the operation is all the same, really simplifies the network deployment for us versus somebody else's. And simplification is key when it comes to monitoring. Yes, it is. Very nice. Thank you so much for joining us, Guy. Thank you for having me. For more information, visit juniper.net slash router services. Coming up next, do you want your very own team of security experts to help keep your network safe? We'll tell you how the Juniper security team does just that. Like to learn more about Juniper solutions? Want to get Juno certified? Whether you're a new user or a seasoned pro, Juniper's day one booklets give you straightforward step-by-step -step instructions, handy shortcuts, and helpful tips on security, routing, switching, and Junos automation. And if you're looking for a deeper dive, check out our technical books from publishers around the world covering current and emerging technologies. They're available in e-format or print at juniper.net slash books. Welcome back to Juno's Connect, your video source for Juno's technology and news. I'm Kara Suboy. Bots, DDoS attacks, how can you keep track of all the network threats? Today, Chris Wee will tell us how Juniper keeps track of security threats to ensure customers are protected. Thank you so much for joining us, Chris. Thank you very much, Kara. It's wonderful to be here. So tell us, who exactly at Juniper takes care of all these security issues? We have an international security team at Juniper of network security specialists and IPS signature specialists and network researchers that basically stay on top of the threat landscape and vulnerabilities at the network. So how do you monitor all of the different vulnerabilities? Uh, partly through our own research and also in collaboration with um, other security vendors and network security companies in the, in the community. Our researchers basically dissect bots and understand what the latest threats are, how attackers are attacking clients and users, and we also 
share information through these partnerships with other companies. You mentioned the research. Can you give us any specific examples of what you're working on? Well, right now we are uh, working on some malware threats and understanding what are the latest techniques that bots are using to subvert browsers. Mm -hmm. We also are studying um, various um, denial of service attacks that have been popular in the press lately to understand how we can adjust our scaling capacity in order to offset these attacks. How does the research factor into Juniper's products? Our intrusion prevention signatures, which are created by my team, are distributed through a variety of Juniper's products. The SRX, the standalone IDP products, the MX products receive these signatures daily and keep our customers protected. They detect instances of these attacks and basically block them. Thank you so much for joining us, Chris. You're very welcome. Thank you, Carl. To visit Juniper Security Intelligence Center, go to juniper.net slash security. Struggling to send data from both your data and storage networks? Stay tuned. We'll take you to the whiteboard and show you how Juniper uses convergence to simplify your life. Looking for answers to questions about Juniper products? Join JNet and tap into the collective knowledge of a global community. Find solutions from Juniper users, experts, and Juno certified engineers. Register for your free user account and join the conversation from your mobile or your computer. Go to the link on your screen to sign up now. Welcome back to Juno's Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. We all like to simplify, and with the advent of the 10 gigabit ethernet switch and new protocols, data centers can now combine their data and storage networks into one. Joining me is Samir Sharma to talk about Juniper's storage convergence solutions. Thank you so much for joining us, Samir. Thanks a lot. It really sounds like ethernet is stepping up to the plate and people can now use it for storage as well as data traffic. This is great for customers. Absolutely, that's true. It actually simplifies the network. So what do customers need that traditional Ethernet was not providing? So traditionally Ethernet allows a network to drop frames. And applications that run on top of traditionally Ethernet tolerate this behavior. But in a storage network, they have a hard requirement to never drop a frame. Right. And that's the reason why in the past customers would separate their network. They would have an Ethernet network mm -hmm. just for data and a storage network that would handle just storage. Mm -hmm. So now that customers are building out 10 gigabit Ethernet, they're using protocols called data center bridging, DCB. And what that enables a customer to have an ethernet network that doesn't drop a frame. So now customers can use their 10 gigabit ethernet networks with DCB to run storage in their ethernet network. That makes a ton of sense. How does Juniper fit into this solution? So if we look inside the ethernet network, mm -hmm. there's a transit switch. And what a transit switch does is it switches data and storage traffic, FCOE traffic. Juniper has two solutions. One is the EX4500 that has virtual chassis. And the other one is the QFX3500 that is QFabric enabled. These are both transit switches. Mm -hmm. To connect these two networks together, we have a gateway device. The QFX3500 is our gateway device. It's a full featured switch, has layer two, layer three, DCB, FCOE, FC, has all these features and it doesn't take a hit in performance. Sounds like this 10 gigabit was a great development. Where do you think this is going in the future? The way I see it is in the future, both these networks will completely merge together and customers will be able to use just one network, saving in cost and simplicity. Fantastic, thanks for your time. Thank you. For more information, be sure to register for the upcoming webcast on Juno Central. That's it for this episode. I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect.